Hello everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivor Spice back at it again with another match reaction and guys before we even get started you know what to do remember to subscribe smash that like button and remember to share because sharing Ivor and Spice is caring. Boom! But first of all guys if you want to join BetUS which is the leading betting company in the united states make sure you scan that qr code as well and if you can want to contribute to this channel you can always click the link description and contribute for your paypal or join us on a live chat live stream for us to send a super chat as well guys but let's get straight into it because it is ammonia 2 manchester united 3 that is it guys Manchester United played against pneumonia a name a team that sounds like a disease sounds especially like pneumonia ammonia pneumonia guess what they're the one who caught pneumonia for us briefly we did in the first half and then we got rid of that pneumonia ended up beating that pneumonia and winning the game three two collecting three points is what Manchester united need two wins out of two in the europa league with the first game being lost six points Manchester united sitting second just behind real sociedad it is what it is but three points is what Manchester united needed but the performance in the first half questionable as fuck you know because in that first half guys Manchester united were poor poor and extremely poor the fact that there was no passion, no intensity, and no desire from that midfield of us and the mistakes that were happening. At times when we were seeing that, we were thinking, listen, bruv, you're wasting my energy bill on this. We out here paying for high energy bills and you're out here not giving us high performances. No high energy performances. But we out here paying for high energy bills, you know. We out here doing the most. So you better turn up in that second half. Imagine United turn up in that second half. The substitution worked wonders. Andy Cole and Dwight York, which is Marcus Rashford and also Anthony Marshall, connecting, doing their thing, ensuring that Manchester United get the three points. And that's good for us. But overall, I don't trust these players, you know. I don't trust our defence as well. Today's defence, especially with Lindelof in there. Um, no way. And the mistake by Melasio to concede that goal wasn't good enough but i somehow have this feeling where whenever we make these changes the energy just drops the level of performance just drops guys and i don't like this and somehow you know it doesn't seem good to me going into the weekend Ugh. but let's go straight into that match because when match united conceded the first goal with melassia making that mistake first of all Jaden sancho that back pass what the fuck what was you thinking? What was you doing? What was running through your mind all the time? Cut, cut, pass back all the time. Trying to play it safe. And you played it safe to Malasia, so it wasn't safe at all. It was unsafe for Malasia to lose the ball and Ammonia trying to get us on the counter-attack, which they did. Eventually scoring, Kareem scoring that goal on the counter-attack. I was pissed. You was pissed. We all was pissed. Off. I was like, what the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? We're playing pneumonia. We shouldn't be conceding that goal. Yes, we took the risk. Manchester United as well had opportunities in that first half. Anthony as well could have selfishly finished the ball, but he wanted to pass it to Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes, that fraud. But then again, half time, it was 1 0 to Ammonia. Most of Manchester United fans were fuming. They were like, you better turn up in the second half. And they did. And I know Eric Turner watched that first half and thought, these guys are shit. Like, they're really shit. I can't trust these players. But on, the substitution came on. Marcus Rashford coming on. Soon as he came on, equalising a nice finish by Marcus Rashford. Cutting it from outside the box. Beautiful touches as well. Marcus Rashford scoring. Happy for him. My boy is finally trying to show his form, getting his form back after a poor performance against Manchester City. And then Martial came on. The one-twos, the beautiful touches with Marshall and Rashford in between. You know, Rashford with the assist. Marshall, cool, calm finish from outside the box. Two beautiful goals for Manchester United to make it 2-1. And then Rashford making it 3-1. Ronaldo with the assist. Rare thing to see with Ronaldo assisting. But Ronaldo had a <clears throat> game like that. It was so-so. So-so game, you know. You know, all he tried to score, it was... A bit funny as well. It's a bit strange. But you know what? Ronaldo can only do what he can do. He could have got a goal as well. 
but he tried his best. But you can just see that this guy is just a fool of grace. He's just getting worse, you know. In my opinion, I just think Ronaldo's finished. And he has been. And he will be. But hopefully he can pick it up for the rest of the season and get some goals. I'm praying. I really am. But then Manchester United conceded the goal from Ammonia again, making it 3 2. And I was thinking, this defense, like, this defense needs to fix up. Like, especially in the midfield. How we got caught slacking again, I don't know. But Manchester United to finish the game three goals to two. Happy as Larry in terms of the result. Performance wise, we wasn't good enough, guys. And we need to improve when we play against Everton. We cannot go with that exact same mentality and that exact same performance and lack of energy against Everton because Everton will finish us guys and you know that's true they will but apart from that guys I, it is what it is in terms of players Sancho he was poor he was poor today Melasha was also at fault for the goals both Sancho and Melasha were at fault for the goal because he in the first in the first half Ronaldo had a a mixture of performances you know that's what I have to say about Ronaldo. I don't want to say much about Ronaldo because he's a goal. Yeah, show him the respect that he deserves. But still, i got to be honest. Yeah, he was poor. Despite the assist, he was quite poor. He tried and lashed out at times with his goals. Bruno Fernandes, you know what? I'm tired. Where is the goals and the assist that you promised Anthony Marshall that I'm spanking it on the league. I'm saving it for the league. And you didn't do anything. When, when Marshall said in that plane... But you didn't give me any assist. And you told us that you're saving it for the league. Well, this is the Europa League. You ain't getting goals. We ain't, we ain't seen the assist in the Premier League too. So not good enough. Marcus Rashford, the guy that came on and saved our ass. Big ups to him. As well with Martial doing well. Man of the match today, guys. Got to go to Marcus Rashford. Two goals and an assist. Uh, what can you say more about Rashford, you know? This new... Um, coaches really really sorted out Marcus Rashford so improving his game bit by bit you know he's really turned a corner around from last season donkey of the match gonna gonna give it to Malasia and Sancho because boy I do not want to see that again those mistakes cannot be made against Everton Manchester United fans we take it again one game at a time you know like we've got Everton this weekend we're looking for the three points We've got these three points here against Ammonia slash Pneumonia. And we move on. As always, guys, as I said before, remember to follow us on Instagram, Red United TV one approaching 15,000 followers. And remember to subscribe, as always, smash that like button, remember to share. Yeah. And remember, back again, live watch along against Everton. And also on Monday, the catch-up volume 83 or 84. But as always, guys, as I always say, remember to keep it united. And remember to keep it ready, United. Let me know who your donkey of the match was and your man of the match was and your thoughts in the comments. Till next time, peace.